Hello everyone. It's that time again. Time for another reading from Papa's Comic Books and Coffee. Well, let's see who joined us today. In the Bat Cave. It's Iron Fist by Marvel Comics Group. Number 13. Only 30 cents back in 1977. There's the date. Stamp, 1977. Looks like March. This is Boomerang by Chris Claremont and John Byrne. Don't forget, as always, this book and everything else is available on my eBay webpage, papas-comic-books. All right, let's see if we can get into it. Of course, Stan Lee presents Iron Fist. Target Iron Fist. DSS Balaclava, a tramp freighter out of London, moored at Pier 15 on the Manhattan side of the East River. It's a bitter cold night. The wind brutal as it slices off the harbor at night. Any sane man would be at home, curled up with his lady love in front of a flaming hearth. But then, whoever said superheroes were sane? Alan Cavanaugh's telegram said he wanted Iron Fist to meet him here at midnight, a matter of life and death. Well, it's midnight, and I'm here. But where is he? For that matter, where is anybody? All I see is an empty ship by the empty pier in the emptiest stretch of Manhattan, and on a holiday weekend, no less. You could stage a war down here and nobody'd notice. What's doing, hotshot? Your Irish buddy stands you up? No, I don't know, Misty, but I still wish you hadn't come with me. And let you walk into the lion's den alone? No way, pal. I'm too fond of you for that. Sides, I need your advice on something that can't wait. The tower wants me to go undercover to try to get the goods on a captain on a certain big-time operator. Everyone else who's tried to infiltrate his mob is dead. So with odds like that, you understand why I'm not sure I want the job. What? The lights. Misty, it's a trap. Mister, you don't know the half of it. The name is Boomerang. I am a contract killer, Iron Fist, and my first target is you. Oh, Iron Fist, look out. Boomerang previously appeared in Tales of the Astonish. Hey, you can look like this guy for only $4.98. He only hit me with a glancing blow, yet it was enough to hurl me over the ship's side and hope the thick snow will cushion my landing. Bingo. And if I hit the, the dock from this height, I've had it. Got a twist in midair and angle fall toward the cargo crates piled on the wharf. Not bad, Cobber. You're a fair dinkum agrobat. Pity all your Bruce Lee stunts won't mean a thing against me or my shatterings. Explosive boomerangs hitting like super-powered hand grenades. Meanwhile, up on the Balakalava's deck, Misty Knight's got problems of her own. You sure know how to pick them, hon. Iron Fist is up against a supervillain. You're pinned down by a pair of submachine guns. Nice and easy, Pat. Remember, we're after Iron Fist and Kavanaugh, no one else. No, you don't, Cobber. You'll never catch them at that easily. I've invited too, I've waited too long for the comeback to muck it up. I spent months healing after the Hulk near killed me, years training my body, improving my boomerangs, until I was finally ready to take my true place among the ranks of the world's greatest supervillains. He's crazy, but his skill with those boomerangs is incredible. I have boomerangs for every occasion, hero rigged with explosives, gas, sonics, so long as he uses a boot jets to stay out of my reach, he can pick me off as his leisure. My only hope is to try and take him, take the fight to him. And my ambidextrous throwing skills can place these little beauties wherever I wish, with flawless accuracy. A single boomerang should be no problem to dodge. No, it's changing course in mid-flight. I'm twisting right into it. See what I mean? 
If that had been one of my specials, you would have been very dead by now, and it would have been, been your own fault. Hey, be a locksmith. Perhaps boomerang, but I'm not dead, and you've just made your first mistake by dropping low enough for me to get at you. What the? Now it's my turn, Kaba. You're finished, boomerang, but if you want to spare yourself a lot of pain, you better tell me what you and your friends have come with the come with Alan Cavanaugh. Hate to burst your bubble, but I'm telling you nothing. Wish arg. His boot jet slamming me back out over the river. Splash. Iron fist. In that instant, all else, the gunman, her police training, is forgotten as Misty sprints for the sea seaward rail. One thought, one fear, uppermost in her mind. He sank like a stone when he hit. I can't see a trace of him. Oh, Lord, the water's near freezing. If Iron Fist doesn't make it to the surface in the next couple of minutes, he's as good as dead. Interlude, Meacham Manor, 500 acres of prime property, lining Long Island Sound, an isolated place, though it's less than an hour's drive from Manhattan. It's been Ward Meacham's base of operations for nearly 10 years, and tonight it becomes his fortress. Chuck, how are things coming? Moving right along, Mr. Meacham. It'll take a Sherman tank to bust, burst through that barricade, a tank or a very special man, Holy, a man we know only as Davos, bodyguarded to Joy Meacham. Ward Meacham, I have a come for you. Stop him, you fools. He's only one man. Kill him. Wow. You could sooner stop a whirlwind, Meacham. My martial arts skills are as great as Iron Fist, and I have no qualms about killing. He's making mincemeat out of my best men without even raising a sweat. Super bodybuilding, you can do this. I don't know how much. I don't see a price on here, but you can do it. I've been expecting trouble ever since that fool Chaka revealed my criminal connections last summer. But I thought I could handle anything Joy or the law could throw at me. It seems I've seriously underestimated my niece. I'm not beaten yet, though. Once I've reached my seaplane... We'll see who the, has the last laugh. Meacham? No. I won't be stopped, Davos, by you or anyone. That gun won't help you, Meacham. Nothing can help you now. You have two alternatives. Either withdraw completely from the affairs of Meacham Incorporated in a word, disappear, or die now. But it isn't safe to leave here. I have enemies who will hunt me down. That's not my problem, is it? You've got no choice, Meacham, because with this night's work, my debt to Joy Meacham is paid. And the day of my revenge against Wendell Ran Kai and the thrice-cursed city of Kun Lun is at hand. Hear me, Iron Fist. Prosper well in these last days of your life. For on the anniversary of your coming of age as a warrior, I will kill you. The docks are quiet now. The sounds of the brief firefight long since faded. The battle was reported to the first precinct, but no car investigated the call. With all the budget cuts, there simply weren't enough to go around, leaving people to fend for themselves, to fight their own battles, and survive, if they can. Danny, my God, I thought you'd be washed out to sea by now. It's a miracle you're alive, but you are shaking. Cold. Easy, pal. Don't push yourself too hard just yet. Take a moment to rest, and then we'll get you home and into bed. Boom, boomerang, gunman. What happened? They split as soon as they made sure you weren't coming up for air. I'd almost given up hope myself. But, oh, man, you're alive. You've got no idea what that means to me. Misty, I, I, Misty, why, why, why didn't you try to get, get, to get to you? They tried, pal, but when I went for cover on the pier, one of the gunmen said they couldn't waste the time to find me. Something about falling behind schedule. Why? I'll bet that means Alan Cavanaugh's still alive, and if he is, he is, 
I've got to try to save him. You're joking. I've seen your friends Interpol file down, file Danny. He's a terrorist, bomber, a murderer. Even if no one could make the charge stick, and if his own people want him dead more than power to him. How can you say that, Misty? What's Alan ever done to you to make you feel this way about him? He's done this. Maybe not, maybe not him personally, but someone like him, clowns with bombs to whom the end justifies the means. And the bigger the body count, the bigger the headline. One of his kind cost me my right arm. Others cost people their lives. And I'm damned if I'm going to lift a finger to save that scum's life. Alan's not like that, Misty. He's a decent, tormented man, living in his own private hell. A man who's my friend, and if that isn't good enough for you, then maybe I'm not good enough either. Oh, Danny, don't. That's laying things on, a, on the line for sure, pal. But if that's what the way it's got to be, then maybe you aren't. I'm taking Tower's assignment, Danny, and if I never see you again, it'll be too soon. You head uptown, Iron Fist. All thoughts of Misty pushed out of your mind, and you reach police headquarters, and Lieutenant Raphael Scarf, with his help, you find a few poultry leads. All you can do now is run them down and hope for the best. Lead number four, a derelict ferry pl plying its trade between Brooklyn and Staten Island. Pay dirt. Don't worry, Alan. You're not long to wait. We'll be sending you off to the traditional manner, shot at dawn like a traitor you are. I'm no traitor, Padriac. I just had enough. You know the oath. Once in, never out. You took that oath, bro Boyo. It's a shame, Alan. You were the best. That's why we left you alone so long. We hoped you'd come back. But you didn't. We've taken care of your superhero pal, Traitor, and in a few minutes, we'll be taking care of you. Iron Fistfuls. You can earn extra money for only nine, it's worth $9.25 for the free trial. Correction, gentlemen. All you'll be taking care of for the next few years will be the manufacture of license plates in a New York prison. Holy mother of mercy. It's Iron Fist, but that's impossible. We saw him drown. You saw me hit the water and stay under. You thought the cold would finish me, but I lived in a frigid mountain environment over half of my life. I got used to cold a long time ago. Too slow, Iron Fist. Get him. Hey, yo. My timing's a fraction off and getting worse after the punishment I took fighting Boomerang. I'm pushing my body to its limits, and now it's starting to push back. Can't afford to slow down, though. Not while Boomerang's still conscious. My only chance is to trim the odds as best I can before he attacks. Heads up, hero. I think you just said the magic word. He's thrown a pair of razor-sharp boomerangs. I'll just have to make sure the razor edges never touch me. Brick, shuck. First round to you, Cobber. But the match isn't over yet. And this time, I'll make sure you're finished. It's not going to be that easy, Boomerang, because this time, you're fighting on my terms, even though this ferry is your base. The key is the ceiling on the passenger deck. He can't use his boot jets to stay out of my reach. They were his only real advantage, and now they're useless. Blast, that thunder punch should have totaled him, but my concentration's shaky. Of all the lousy times to get sick, I've lost my momentum, and Boomerang's had time to get his second wind. The hero swaying on his feet could be a lot. Oh, this fight pure bluff of his part. I'd be a fool to call him on it. Hey, you can get poems. You can fly model rockets. High school diploma. There you go. High school diploma. Just fill that form out. So long, hero. Catch me if you can. Here's heading for the upper deck and open air giving me an open invitation to come after him, and I will. But not the way he expects. I can cover every stairway from here, and the minute the kung fu cloud, Claude, shows his head, I'll hit him with everything I've got. 
afraid you've got the scenario backwards, Boomerang. Cripes, iron fist behind me, must have come up the side. Erg, hey, Joe. Only one card left to play, my ace in the hole. You fought a good fight, hero, but here's where I take it all. Game, set, and match. Behold, Iron Fist, Boomerang's deadliest weapon, his incomparable Rocketrang. Heart of the Dragon, it's coming for me like a guided missile, and it's growing, growing. Some sort of magnetic field holding me to the wing like a, a flypaper, and now rocket engines are firing at the tips of the wing. Enjoy your fly, Cobber. You'll have the best view in New York for exactly one minute before an explosive charge blows you to smithereens. Bloody things spinning so fast, inertial force tearing me apart. Can't just smash free. There's no way I could survive a fall from this height. Have to think of my way out of Boomerang's trap. First off, twist my body with the energy field. Try to shift the wing's trajectory. Done it. Now to compensate before it slips into a dive. That'll slam full tilt into the harbor. Gently, Iron Fist, gently. I think I've got this monster angled back near the ferry. Wish I could be sure. But the way thing, the wing's spinning, I'm lucky to be conscious. If luck's really the word for it. Captain America and Sorcerer's Apprentices. With Hostess Cupcakes. I'm low enough to go... I'm low enough. Got to use my iron fist. Break free now. Gods, I feel awful. And I'm going to into the water again. A split second for time for a man to sp see his doom spinning madly towards him. My God, the rocket train. To know that for all the arrogance, there is nothing he can do to save himself. It's heading right for us. The bomb. That's the fate is in the hands of the gods. I and maybe now a nightmare will end. A split second, then impact. Skew! In the twinkling of an eye, the ferry is gone. It's dying explosion lighting up half of the Brooklyn waterfront. It's shattered hull disappearing as the light fades only a patch of burning oil and some wreckage among marking its passing. And finally, two men as well. We made it, Alan. Thank God I was near enough found him. Jake, off to the skateboard survivors. Ta, officer. His cocoa was more in. Welcome. I'm frozen the marrow of my bones. Much longer in that water, and you would have been Mr. Kavanaugh. Are you the only survivors? So far, yes. Oh, God, I pray that isn't so. I want no more blood on my conscience, even that of my enemies. Enemies, no, now, that's funny. Two years ago, you see, Iron Fist, Pat, and I, and Tim were my, clo were my closest friends. He's drifting off to sleep. He should rest easy for a time until his nightmares come for him again. He looks like he's had a rough time of things. He has my friend, and I'm afraid it's going to get a lot worse before it's done. In the next issue, Iron Fist in Canada. Ooh, that doesn't sound fun. Canada, eh? Wow, look at all that stuff, man. I want to get all these prizes. Those are for me. Well, that was the reading of Marvel Comics Group Iron Fist number 13 from 1977. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, this book is available on my eBay webpage, papas-comic-books. Well, I guess that's it for now. And as I always say... That was easy. Until next time, give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs down if you like it. If you don't like it, leave me a comment. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. Tell me what I'm doing right. And until we see meet again, Papa out. <laughs>